welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Um, there's so much to get into. We, we got to even get into our circumstance for doing this show today. We'll get oh into all God, that. Oh my God, what a day. Let's Today's open this show. It's been day. a crazy day. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's <worst>. party. <laughs> the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> I, to, I, I got diarrhea. I got diarrhea. So you fucking come over on the side of the dumpster and take a shit? I'm throwing this stuff in the dumpster. I will pick it up also. I will pick it up also. <laughs> fuck. I got diarrhea. Who is Randy? <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother into this. Yes. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to your mom's house. With Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> I think that clip just turned my whole day around. Yeah, that's nice, right? That might be, that might be my new favorite thing that's, that's ever right. happened to me. I, I got diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I don't know why the word diarrhea makes You've me You've always loved it. So much. Yeah. So much. You're very shit-centered. I know. Anything duty. That's your wheelhouse. It makes me laugh so much. We have very distinct <laughs> wheelhouses that make us laugh. <laughs> You know, that's true. Because I know if I ever want to make you laugh around the house, yeah. I'll be like, "Did you fucking rip her tits off and shit on her face and then jack off into her eyes? Do yeah. you staple her tits to the desk and yeah. look at yeah, yeah. see, you yeah. gotta chuckle." Yeah. And then with me, it's yes, this. duty, duty, duty all day, man. every day. It makes you always laugh. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you doing, man? I, have to, I, I got diarrhea. I got diarrhea. So you fucking come over on the side of the dumpster and take a shit? I'm throwing this stuff in the dumpster. I will pick it up also. Pick it up also. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I've had diarrhea. <laughs> I've had di- I never, my whole life. I yeah. never think to go like that. It, but that's a real emergency. I guess. <laughs> I've had real emergencies, I feel like. I feel like you can almost always find somewhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a parking lot. Did I ever tell you the story about a guy I once met at a party? And what? he goes, One time I was in Thailand and I was <laughs> in a taxi cab flanked by these two girls I was trying to impress. And he goes, I had a bout of diarrhea hit me so hard. And we were like in like just traffic, like yeah. red light, nothing's going to happen. He goes, man, I was holding it in, holding it in and just sweating and going through waves. And he's like, eventually I just willed it away. Yeah, that, that's what I've done. <laughs> I've willed it away many times. <laughs> It's really rough. Well, you know what your body will do to it? Your body will fight if you're trying to get laid. <laughs> you, you're, as a man, if you have diarrhea and you're like, there's a woman there, I'm trying to have, have your body will be like, we will stop this diarrhea. <laughs> It'll yeah. sink back inside of you. The, the toxic sickness. Yes. So that you can get laid. Yes. Good priorities, guys. That's how the male body and brain work. God damn yeah. it. Yeah. I've got diarrhea. The, the fact that... Did he announce it? But how like vulnerable. That? But you're so vulnerable. You're so vulnerable when, you when that di- happens. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I, I got diarrhea. Yeah. That you kind of have to announce it like that. I'm throwing this stuff in the dumpster. <laughs> His shit covered paper. Stop it. I'm throwing this stuff in the dumpster. <laughs> Is that Brody Stevens? That's how he says it almost, God. right? That's what the fuck are you doing there? <laughs> 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 That's how to treat that guy for I sure. I mean, would you, would you call him out though? I mean, I feel like I'd have empathy. Yeah. I'd be like, it's all right, dude. Just clean up. Just don't leave your toilet paper out here, okay? No, I mean, there's a couple of things that <laughs> he might know that guy as a guy that kind of lingers and is always, you know what I mean? Yeah. And a guy who's yeah. always like, hey, man, get the fuck out. Like, you're, <laughs> that guy's always making customers feel uncomfortable. You right. Know? Like, he knows right. that guy. <laughs> So it's like, it's, it's, it sounded almost familiar. Like, hey, man, what the fuck are you doing? Wait you a know? minute. Do you know what that sound is? 
that's the sound of 500 emails pouring in telling us that they've done public diaries. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's going to be I've really... just heard the pings right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. It's going to be... It's <laughs> ding, ding. Next week. Lit up with all the diarrhea stories. It's going to be... <laughs> it's gonna be there they are. There's every email. Just pouring in. I've done it. I've okay. shit behind a dumpster. I've shit on the side of the road. Yeah. Now, I have had to I pee remember, so badly, I almost did. I remember in college, sophomore year of college, <laughs> being in a girl's dorm room who was down to do it. And yeah. she was like, like, just like get comfortable. Yeah. And I felt the diarrhea <laughs> uh, like strong. <laughs> No, this is true. I remember this. Stop. Her name. I remember her name. I remember her name was Mary Lynn. So, uh, oh, Rice. Yeah, uh, like my friend. Yeah, yeah. It was Mary Lynn Rice. It was Mary. Lynn. <laughs> so, but his name was her name was Mary Lynn, and she. Uh, so, anyways, I was like, I got a test in the morning. I got to <laughs> get back, and I think she was like, "Wow." Yeah. Like, you're turning down. Yeah. So, anyways, but I was like, I still gave her like a kiss. And I go back to my room and it's a like a black pool, like a it's like a rotten just <laughs> pool explosion. And it's so much so that my sweet yeah. mates, like not my roommate, but the sweet mates were like, What the fuck's going on in there? Because they could hear the explosions. Yes. And like Yeah, I know. I've hear I hear it every day. It was one of the most horrendous shits Ugh. I've ever taken. Like, I remember the shit so well. And then I clean up and I'm like, I can't go back there now. You know, like yeah. I, I said, like, because I, I basically, <laughs> what I wanted to do was shit at her place and then try to get laid. But I knew. No way. I could feel no what it was. Way. I know I could feel what yeah. it was. Like if it would have been one thing if I'm like, I kind of got a shit. Maybe I'd have been. <laughs> you can't, but you can never get away with shitting at a girl's house and her not knowing. Yeah. And it's also impossible. like, then we're, then we're going to do it. It's just like, Ugh. so, and it, and it would be first time doing it. So. <laughs> shitty. So. Uh. <laughs> The next day, her friend was like, oh my God, she was, you're such a cool guy. And I go, what? And she was <laughs> like, you know, like most guys would have just like jumped at the opportunity or whatever. But like, Aww. you're like, whatever, I have to, <laughs> like she thought I was being respectful. Right, of her. Of her and not like not wanting to rush things. Wow. Isn't you that know? crazy how yeah. delusional women and are like, that we, we talk ourselves and everything? I was like, I just had to shit so badly <laughs> that there was no way I could do it. Right. So, uh, but I was like, yeah, <laughs> no, I know. I am a nice guy. <laughs> I just respect her I so much. I just respect her so, so you much. You know, yeah. Marilyn's like such a good girl. Yeah. She's yeah. just really cool. Yeah. That's really funny. Yeah. You know, on time, man, I was working as like a PA. And uh, there, uh, this guy was hosting some TV show when I was a PA. And I remember I had to shuttle him around that day. And we were in the Beverly, some Beverly Hills mall, right? Yeah, yeah. Beverly Center. And I remember he, that dude had to shit really badly. And uh, I'll tell you what is off, off mic, but we we're going down this escalator and I just saw it on his face. Like he really had to shit. He's a, a celebrity? Yeah. And I was like, dude, do you have to shit? Like I just called him out. It? Yeah, I was like, do you have to go shit or something? And he's like... Yeah, like he didn't want to admit that I yeah. I was right, and then I was like, "Toilet's right there, dude. Like, just go shit." Like, I think he was trying to play it cool around me. He's your girl, of yeah, course. and you're attractive. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, nobody. It doesn't matter. Like, he could be <laughs> whatever. Uh, like on his honeymoon, <laughs> and like he, you still don't want to be like to a girl. Like, I got a shit bad. <laughs> Not you. You're the exception. Doug Mellard and his fiance came over. Yeah. A gorgeous blonde hair. Yeah. Brown eye. Like pretty sweet girl yeah you sat at the, the dinner table yeah you lift your ass cheeks you farted yeah. and then you went i gotta take a shit and then i went and shit and then you shit yeah and not even by a, another bathroom away from us like the kitchen bathroom that everyone uses and we can hear you through the door like you didn't even try to <laughs> that's different go down the hall that's different how's that different well the i, I First of all, they're like family. I mean, like Doug and 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 Flynn have have been on the road. That's a different level because mm -hmm. I, I'm comfortable. I'm saying like a stranger. Right. Like if it's like you met someone, and you're like, "Hey, I just met you." Oh yeah, it's hard. It's harder to be like, "I got a shit," you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never shit, um, in in not a toilet. Do you know what I'm saying? Like unless I've been in Asia. And like yeah. I've had to squat on the on the ground, like like in Kyrgyzstan, I had to do that. 
but yeah. you know i've always held it now pee i peed everywhere i feel like i've peed all over the earth yeah. i peed on the side of the freeway I oh i pissed in the, some wild places yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean i pissed on public transportation <laughs> I've, I've haven't pissed. we all at some point drunk? i pissed backstage <laughs> at shows where the bathroom was inaccessible uh, and i know i, I was on. with you yeah, one yeah. time <laughs> yeah yeah and i've done that multiple times i pissed in a trash can backstage one time <laughs> well because you well, can't people don't know that yeah, thing what? of like yeah. they're like you're up yeah and by the way you're gonna be up there 60 70 minutes right. and you're like i gotta piss real quick and they're like oh there's no bathroom around here yeah and you're like well i gotta go, I gotta go. and they're like well you know just hold it for an hour and change and oh yeah like, no i'm not doing that oh yeah or there's nowhere for you to shit before the show so yeah. you gotta go shit where the audience shits and everyone is like hey aren't you the yeah aren't you the girl that's gonna yeah i'm just like, taking a shit See Shitting with the audience is terrible, man. It's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's not fair. It's certainly not fair. Well, we should establish this. We're, we're jumping all over. Um, so today, we had an emergency. Yeah. Our reliable and wonderful nanny, who comes on this day always at a certain time, and we do this show usually in a certain window, called in and had like some family stuff right <laughs> she has a family emergency yeah. of her own and we're like oh fuck. that's the worst day to call in like that this is our podcast and we have you know we have a tight <laughs> schedule i'm in town i'm in la 48 hours i know week. so i was it's like a bad oh, week fuck. for this so actually and we also had scheduled uh martin risa the water sommelier i know so it was all like set up to go and then any, everything got thrown away so anyways i end up doing i ended up doing the water session segment with martin Right, which is at tagged on to the end of this ep, so it'll be Christine and I, and then well, Martin. I was watching the baby jeans, right, and of I course. put him down for his nap, and now we have maybe forty five minutes to get through. Yeah, we just don't know. We don't know how much. <laughs> I mean, the baby could freak out, and so, we we have the monitor here. It's just the way it goes. This man. is one of those old school podcasts. Remember, we used to do this when he was first a baby. He'd be yeah. in the next room, mm -hmm. and we'd do the the show during. And his we would nap. stop when we'd hear cries. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> That's so how you do it, guys. This is the real your mom's house. Hopefully, he just crashes hard here. I hope um, he was up at like five a.m. because of the time change. Yeah. And then you know he's all fucked up because that one hour dude really messes up babies. Well, yeah, it does. Um, it fucks up oh my their God. whole schedule. And then our front gate malfunction, and then like. <laughs> <laughs> what else went wrong? I you, feel like you forgot so you had a much. meeting. I forgot I had a fucking meeting. Yeah. Uh, it was just, today's not a good day. No. But I, it just got better with that diarrhea clip. <laughs> it sure did. The diarrhea clip really opened up. Really did. My happiness. Can I, man, and you know what else I've been thinking about? My friend Shona came. I got diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. ah, see, there it goes. Yeah. The joy comes back into my life. Well, my friend Shauna came to visit me, my BFF, and, uh, and she listens to the show with her husband, Jimmy. Yeah. And she goes, we were, we were talking upstairs. She goes, man, that guy who takes 10 to 12 Benadryl? She goes, I take one. And I'm like anxious and sweating. So and fucking weird. <laughs> it's yeah. like, who can take that many Benadryl? I know. I she, know. she takes them regularly for her allergies. And she said, that is way too much. You think that's a lot? <laughs> I mean, what about this guy, though? Black guys <laughs> love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, <laughs> if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I, yeah. need, I need to be fucked a lot. Man. We got it. We got Jared, it. Jeez. What do you think's the point of that? I don't know. He really needs it. He gave out He gave out that address. Now, don't you think a Craigslist ad would suffice? Like, he needs to put a YouTube video out. I think he really wants, I think he's trying to step it up. You know? Very indiscriminate. Think about like a, a written ad. It's like you know, and here he's showing the goods here. He's saying like, "This is what I look like." <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I chill. <laughs> <laughs> I got some nice pillows. You want to fuck or what? Yeah. You can move in here. Your friends can move in here. <laughs> Are you out of jail? Are you a homeless bum? Do you want to piss on me? Beat me up? I mean, yeah. do you really? Somebody, by the way, can definitely satisfy all of his needs. I know. There's a person right now who's like, "Check, check. check I'm check. in, dude. I'm in. I'm out of knock, jail. Knock. I'm homeless." <laughs> I'll piss on you, I'll beat the shit out of you, and I'll fuck you. <laughs> and it's free rent? Yeah. <laughs> and my friends can come? Win, win. He gives it up to his friends. It's all winner. Win, it's win. really one of the more substantial guys <laughs> that we've ever played on the show. That is quite a singles ad. You don't yeah, really get to see those yeah. very often. <laughs> and again, I think I said it last week, but I think everybody understands the <laughs> sentiment, the it's impulses so of, of, of saying that, but huh. there's a big part of you that when you feel like, when you feel like <laughs> I want to get fucked, that goes, maybe I shouldn't make this video and put it online, though. <laughs> 
what do you, what do you imagine the response was to that? Especially now that we've broadcast it, someone listening, well, some some derelict listener of this show was like. Yeah, that well, the, sounds great. The crazy thing is that yeah, yeah I know. The crazy somebody thing is somebody responded. wherever this is originally posted has his full home address. <laughs> like we edit it out for his sake, right? Yeah. Right. But his full home address God. is like whatever one two three Main Street. Yeah. He's like that's where I live. <laughs> if you want to come over here and piss on me for free rent and bring it's your bananas. out of jail friends too bananas yeah it's really what's wrong with people know. you know i think it's crazy to even show what neighborhood you live in on instagram yeah let alone you know giving out your addy it's really wild <laughs> you want to piss and shit his cadence is so it's that weird guy cadence too yeah it's like uh that psychotic east coast that. you want to fuck me fuck yeah me. yeah like you piss on me? Yeah, you want to piss on me? Try that out. I don't want to yeah. be. Fu- like, he's there's, gnarly. There's no he's break a, in the a, words. He's a nasty. T- they run together. <laughs> I know. That that's a real sign of a psycho is when there's no pauses. Yeah. You know. No, eye, he's real eye crazy. Contact, no blinking. By the way, so you know, I think I've I've told stories on this <laughs> Shit. podcast about how as I tour, you know, especially for the first like nine months of this tour. Every time I go to stage, you know, I'm walking onto the stage in some pretty big rooms. As the applause dies, there's kind of like that moment, right? So you grab the mic, they're clapping, and you go, thank you, thanks a lot. And it's like, as you're about to start doing stand-up, right? There's that moment. A lot of times it was, hey, Hitler, (laughs) right? And I would be like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, yeah, machines within. (laughs) People are screaming machines within at these shows. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Well, it's a hit song, and we turned it into a, a smash hit. Yeah, it's I really feel like wild. we are responsible, and our audience is responsible. Yeah, of for course. Creating uh, such a great song. Amazing and a submissions movement. came in. Amazing Hold submissions. Hold on, I've got this email that I'm dying to read. Okay. I got. I came into that's deep, bro, which I think is really funny. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, continue talking as well. Yeah, okay. I find this. Well, I have another Machines Within. Oh my God, great. So I thought I would uh, share it with you. Looks like there's a video component to this one as, too, <laughs> as well. Here we go. <laughs> Soft rock version. I love it. By Elliot. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's good. It's really good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> the video's great. It's really great. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make my rap. Is your thing on? No. No? <laughs> it's really good. I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Machines with it. That's great. Oh, it's so good. Wow. I mean, come it's on. Deep. Yeah. Like they made it a soulful. Yeah. This is a soulful thing. Elliot. It says by Elliot. Yeah. I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed. I really liked it. Yeah. Do you have really any good. other ones? Um, well, that's all I see in here for Machines Within submissions, but we have some new uh, She's Retarded songs. <laughs> good. So this is She's Retarded. It's called It's Developmentally Disabled by Daniel T. <laughs> 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 I'm retarded. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's yeah, retarded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She sounds retarded. There you go. That's really good. Daniel T. Thank you for that one. Uh, this is Retarded Jeans by. 
Patty Patty Boo? Everybody evacuate. She's retarded. <laughs> It's good. No. Yeah. Kind of a chill vibe that. I like that. I told you how that when this started. She's retarded. Yeah. It's kind of neat. How this is called that. She's Retarded Light <laughs> Light Jazz by Yiros. Yeah. Okay. Here I like go. it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. jazzy. I like that. Hmm. Different. I like the different Little styles. James David Brubeck. Is it David Brubeck? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice build. <laughs> Oh, I like this. She's retarded. <laughs> She's retarded. You don't normally hear light <laughs> jazz like this. No. She's retarded. Yeah, I like this a lot. I told you tango started. <laughs> oh, wow. She's retarded. She's retarded. All right. I like that. Uh, guess who I met on Saturday? Who? Gaping Dad. You're kidding. He came to my show in Austin. Well, he's like a your mom's house celebrity at oh, this point. Oh, for sure. And he's made incredible, incredible songs. Wow. And, uh, you know, I told him, I go, I want to thank you for all the songs you've made. You're definitely on our top, you know, top tier. Yeah. Uh, music, s- songs that he submitted have been incredible. And uh, he goes, oh, thanks. And then he goes, uh, uh, I'm working on a She's Retarded one. And I go, <laughs> I cannot wait to get off. So I don't have that yet, but um, like you can't rush a genius. No, you know. Uh, but I believe Nate from Indy, who submitted a great, I think he submitted a Machines Within song, also submitted a She's Retarded song. <laughs> wow! Um, and he, you wow, know, he, he's an actual, you know, guitar player and and singer. So remember? Oh yes, this guy. She's retarded. <laughs> There you go. Well, I feel like that one That's really great. got the message across. Right. Of like the distinction between being retarded or mentally disabled. Uh, yeah, and it's such an important <laughs> distinction. Some people are just retarded, you know? <laughs> Well, it's like <laughs> I think that's a, that's what that guy was trying to say. Right, her shit's Ultimately. all fucked up. Yeah, she's retarded, man. Yeah. Like, and he wasn't trying to say she has downs. She's mentally disabled. He's like, no, she does retarded shit all yeah. day. She's retarded. <laughs> yeah, like that. Do you really think that's the hidden meaning of she's retarded? One hundred percent. Is that she acts out all the time? Oh yeah. Yeah. She's she's. Look at know. Sally. Sally's just retarded. Sally's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> so silly. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, I think so. Man, these songs, I tell you, every now and then we hit a wave of real talent submissions yeah. on this show, and this is one of those times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, when these songs come in, it's like, it's really one of my favorite things that happens. Really, really, really makes me happy. <sighs> Can if I read you, this email? Of course, read the email. Uh, this is funny. So it says, uh, Hi, Christina, I was listening to the Your Mom's House episodes where you're discussing showering with Tom. I don't know if you guys remember that episode but uh it started when we lived in the uh, this other house a year ago and tom and i showered together on occasion not so much anymore uh just for logistic reasons yeah with kid. The kid, yeah but you came in and you peed uh on me and it smelled like you had dumped an entire carafe of coffee into yeah. the shower because you don't hydrate a lot and that's what started this whole water champ yeah. look look what you're drinking now is that right. no, doesn't no. look like water to right. me it looks okay. like coffee so uh it was disgusting, and then you blew snot rockets, and then they the snot got stuck in your beard, and then like you just you look like a hobo. It's like showering with uh, a guy who would diarrhea. I spread my cheeks. Yeah, uh, clean you're the like air the guy taking diarrhea's on the on yeah. the uh, the I dumpster. Got diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. So she writes, and I'm 21 years old, and I've never showered with a guy. 
The thought of being in a shower with a guy as he's washing his butthole just never appealed to me. I have worked in the nursing aid field for a couple of years, and I'm currently in nursing school. Maybe all the years of bathing pervy old men turned me off to the idea. The last time I stayed at my booze place, he mentioned that we showered together. I told him I didn't want to, and he thought that was weird. What should I expect from my first time showering with a guy? How do I make washing my armpits sexy? Are blowjobs a requirement, or is it supposed to be cute, or both? That's a really good question. And I think, you know, sweet, sounds like a sweet lady, 21, young. I think, first of all, if (laughs) if it's her BF... um, well, first of all, you know your BF. You know what I mean? Like if he's You think you know your BF and then you no, shower with him and figure out he's no, a hobo that no, no, blows no, no. snot on. rockets and I was and your pees husband for you. years at that point. Yeah. What I'm saying is that I don't know what stage of BF this is, but obviously it's it's a stage where they spend the night at each other's house. She's been with him for a while, so it's not like yeah. it's a new new thing. I think more than likely if he's asking you to shower for the first time, and it hasn't been done. He doesn't want to screw that up for the next. Not shower. the first time. Yeah. Right. So he'll, he'll I think do that stuff later. Your first time, you have nothing to worry about. Like he's going to be on probably good behavior. <laughs> he's going to soap your back. He's going to do like yeah. He'll like, he'll let you have the hot water, and then that yeah. switches very quickly. Because when that's why we don't shower together is that I'll be in the hot water enjoying myself, and then you will physically grab me and pull me out of the hot well, water and then take it yourself. I would rephrase that. No, that's what you do. I would rephrase that. I would say that I would like some some hot water, not scorching hot water. So mm. I have to move you and turn the hot water down, <laughs> which is actually saving hot water for you because I, I take human showers. Yeah, but you pull me out of the stream and then I suffer and yeah, then yeah, I'm I shivering. It, I need it for a moment. But look, I think it'll probably be a nice thing and you don't have to like yeah you soap wherever you want he's gonna probably he's not gonna wash his asshole in front of her no, the first he's time not. no 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 he'll he'll put that off yeah no he'll, he'll wash his dick and balls he'll wash that and he'll probably like try to get a couple grabs you know he'll probably yeah. probably stick his finger in your crack um he'll mm-hmm. soap up your back see for you. no you're that's where you're wrong because not all men are as derelict as you are where you do that where you I used finger to spread cracks. my butt cheeks with your fingers. I jerk off in plants. What I, well, I'm not that weird. <laughs> right. Not I'm all fine. guys do that kind of stuff. You think it's playful, the, but I'll tell you that but you're definitely you know, rare. I never had a boyfriend that would do all that mean stuff to me. Mean? The, what what, what was mean? Spreading my butt cheeks with yeah. your finger. Remember, you used to take your, yeah. you go like that. Like, yeah. Why are you spreading them? Uh, peeing on me? I didn't have a boyfriend that did that until you. You said that the spreading was menacing. Menacing, yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I just tolerated it because I love you. I didn't do it. It's any another of it. red flag I should have paid attention to, probably. There's a few, right? Oh, so many. Well, your love of uh, sociopaths and murderings and stuff like that. That was a big red flag. Yeah. You didn't use soap in your shower, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were washing, you were washing your crotch with shampoo. That's what people do. No, not all people. Everything I did to you is normal. Yeah, sure. It is now. Um, This gave me a laugh. I thought you might like this. This lady. She's retarded. Is retarded. Going through her uh, car wash. <laughs> it's a tree, ocean creature. There's some over here, Vanna. Oh, blueness. It's blue and purple. Look. Oh, my God. Yeah. Having a good time, right? Yeah. Enjoying the car wash. Oh, starts to leak. Oh my god. God damn it. Oh my god. Window, you fucker. They just fucked up the interior of their car oh, big yeah. time. She had moose soup vibes. Definitely, same. Yeah. yeah. So basically, for those who aren't watching on YouTube, the sunroof leaked, and this woman is in a drive through car wash, and all the water just got in her interior yeah. and fucked up her car. So the, it looks like the <laughs> what probably happened is the the interior <laughs> slide door <laughs> is closed, okay. and the, I bet you the top window is that, that elevated position. You know how they have, they have that feature, though, where you can be like oh, right. cracked? <laughs> like it's not open back, right. but it's like lifted up. Sure. So you can have like a breeze of air. Oh, my gosh. And I think she uh, she didn't realize that. <sighs> that's terrible. Yeah, that's pretty that, bad. That your car is over. Oh man, I'd be so I'd be just as pissed as she is. Oh, She's just so terrible. Upset. That's really your, really. Your car's totally ruined. Yeah, it's... and they've got leather <laughs> interior. Goddamn window, you fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn it! Uh, 
<laughs> it was pouring. It wasn't yeah. trickling in, no. especially on the passenger side. Look how much water is pouring oh. in. <laughs> See, it's trickling in there. But look to the right Give here. Breath, there. Oh, it's a lot. Damn it. Oh, that is a bummer. You're right. I think it's cracked up. Yeah. I yeah. think it's propped up. Yeah. And whose fault would that be? I don't know. I think it would be the driver's fault. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's her car. Damn, dude. She's super pissed, man. Car washes are fun when you're sitting in the car. Yeah. It still is a thrill. Of course. Yeah. I don't like it when they take my car. I like to sit in it. Yeah, it's uh Oh dirty son yeah. of a yeah. similar. This is very similar. Could be her. Yeah. Has a dirty bitch. Bitch. Right? It has kind of that vibe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So maybe her cousin here. God damn it. Oh my gosh. Right? You hear the little mix up there? Oh dirty son of a <laughs> Fuck <laughs> <laughs> It's very wow. close. Oh shit! Oh. Wow! Yeah, that was very close. That was awesome, yeah. Gene. That's pretty good. You guys are doing good. Fuck! <laughs> you guys are doing good. There you go. Close. Right. <laughs> you goddamn window, you fucker! <laughs> uh. So this is interesting. An armless wiping uh, solved mystery. Oh. Uh, I was listening to episode 420. I had an epiphany. I worked yeah. at a movie theater for years. <laughs> Once while I was working, a co-worker walked into the handicap washroom and found shit-covered toilet paper Oof. wrapped around the grab bar next to the toilet. <laughs> I have spent years pondering how this happened. It is now obvious to me that an armless person had an emergency brown, wrapped the toilet paper around the bar with their highly skilled feet, and then rubbed up on it. Obviously, after they were done, they had no way of getting it off without getting their feet covered in shit. <laughs> Mystery solved. Hope this was of some help. Machines within F the there haters. There it is. Yeah. Wow, the machines within I'm greeting. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's a whole new thing. It's a whole thing now. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting theory. I, I don't see why not. Yeah. It's, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Zimzer, uh, <laughs> in gender specific. When, when, hi, Hitlers. <laughs> When trying to be sensitive to people's pronouns, what do those who speak big words with gender types in their speech do? Spanish, French, Italian have non-Zimzer types in their sure. words built in and will never be able to respect the pronoun because so many words being masculine and feminine. That is fucking brilliant. And that yeah. is so true. Are these languages doomed to be cis scum speech for all eternity? And should we be eliminating them to make sure everyone is safe? Please respond with your wisdom. <laughs> Run in the industry. Wow. Alan, that is so wow. good. We run in the industry now. <laughs> that is so well, that, good. That's a really good point because the respectful languages, the Germans, they have neuter form, right? Right. Uh, but they're right here. These there are some languages that don't have a neutral, a new gender neuter. And he is and such a good question as a someone who speaks, you know, decent Spanish, I can tell you that you're always constantly trying to <gasps> remember you know, right. like, as somebody, like I said, I, I, you know, my Spanish has definitely um, gone downhill because I don't use it as much as I used to. But that is a thing where it's like, is it, is it masculine or feminine? Is the right. word el or la? La mesa. Then, mm. Or el mesa. Right. What is it? La? Uh, la mesa. Yeah. Right. Because it ends in, I don't know. There's so, so you're many attributing a feminine, you know. Oh my gosh. Title to the word, right? Of course. So then, how are the uh, non-binary people going to tolerate this in these yeah, Latin-speaking? Yeah, because you have to say something to somebody. Spanish speaking countries. Uh, Te gusta, and they'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "Respect my privacy." I'm like, "Oh, perdona, perdona." Te gusto. <gasps> <laughs> So what would they say? I have no idea, actually. That's, that's why I'm fascinated by this. How Shoot. do, how does this this whole movement of gender pronouns affect people that don't speak English? Because we have been just been tied into the English speaking world, right? And we've we've seen the documentary, that Vice documentary, that was it Sweden? Yeah, um, I think uh, it was. They have hen, which yeah. is the neutral, right? Yeah, he was like, or it. <clears throat> they were like. Do you want to be like a woman or a, 
gender neutral today. And then the kid was like, I just want to go by my name. And he was like, okay. <laughs> How about Mark? Yeah. I know. It's so funny because um, Ellis is about the age of the kid that they're asking on a daily basis what they feel like. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like looking at my kid. Like, he doesn't even understand the question. Like, yeah. there's, there's no debate in his mind. Like About what gender? Yeah. It's yeah. just not on the table yet. <laughs> yeah. It's a little kid. It's conf- I think you're confusing him. I'm sorry, them. A little they, bit. <laughs> they get confused. But in in the, I'm interested in the Latin speaking. If anyone out there has any insight into whether yeah. Spanish, French, Italian speakers, <laughs> how they approach somebody who's like, I'm not either gender. Yeah. How do words then get used? Because well, words are very much, they have a um, a gender like tie into them in those languages. Yes. There's very, there's few ways I think you can say something gender neutral. That's true. That's absolutely true. Well, in German, you have die, der, and das. Those yeah. are three different uh, feminine, masculine, and neuter. And you have to rem- fucking memorize every word with die, der, das. That's terrible. Yeah. It's so hard. Interesting. Where do non-binaries go to prison? <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, in California, didn't we just have the uh, thing that transgender people can... Which is what this person asked. They say, right. I heard that California, you're allowed to put a third right, right, gender right. on your license, separate from male or female. So I was thinking, <clears throat> if you're one of those people and you have to go to prison, do you go to male prison or a female prison? Thanks, fish abuser. Well, I mean, if they're non, they're non-binary, I'm, you know, I would assume they'd put them with the women. I think we need to build new prisons. <laughs> Entirely, you're right. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. For that community. No, I think they do send them to the women's. I think it's to get the know. guys, you know what it is? It's so that the guys don't get the shit beaten out of them with dudes. But let's say I'm saying, you let's say I, mean? I go, hey, I'm non-binary. <laughs> And and then the state recognizes it. They go, Tom yes. Segura, non-binary. Right. It's on his driver, then their driver's license. Right. And I commit a crime. Right. And I get sentenced to prison. And I go, I'm not male. I can't go to a men's prison. No. They already you're they already acknowledge that I'm not I'm not a man. And you're not a female either. No. So, I don't know, dude. We'll have to figure. We'll have to find out. Uh yeah. Uh, well, because this is such your wheelhouse. Yeah. I thought I would. Let's play this special treat is for you. Is it diarrhea and non-binary well, together? Well, it's very educational. <laughs> okay. And, I, and you're a reader and you're a uh, learner. Yeah. But I think it's your type of education. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Steven Seva here. And I'm <laughs> here to talk to you about something that's near and dear to my heart. Oh, boy. And I call it sacred releasing. Okay. Here we go. So what sacred releasing is, is it's a way of transforming using the toilet, going to the bathroom from <laughs> oh. something that's mundane into something that's really magical, transforming it into a sacred ritual. Isn't it always? Uh, I feel like it's always pretty awesome. I think he points out one of your big flaws. <laughs> How present are you when you're going to the bathroom? I'll, I'll and the reason super. why I'm asking that is because I know we have this tendency in yeah. our society yep. in this day and age to be toilet texters. You know, we go to the bathroom with our phone and then we can be sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Thanks for the reenactment. Totally yeah, showed us. Looking at our phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why you that use the toilet. sacred releasing transforms and honors this <laughs> letting go process, yeah. this releasing process that is <laughs> using the toilet. This might be my second favorite new clip yeah, in the whole world. Yeah, it's pretty great. Sacred releasing. I love that. You definitely thought it was jizzing though, right? Yeah, I thought we were yeah, doing were another like, cum oh, thing. God. Well, I didn't even know this was an option for me. It's funny that you love shitting and I love <laughs> jizzing. Yeah. yeah. More shitting clips because I feel like we've been a little jizz heavy. Okay. This is my wheelhouse. Now, I thought that's why you took a shit was to catch up on your emails and your texts and your... <laughs> sacred releasing so he's just arguing that you should be more present more mindful more thoughtful <laughs> and more appreciative of your body processing that shit yeah why are you <laughs> sitting there doing other things you should be thinking about this moment <laughs> but i feel like you process your dumps like i, feel I like, like them yeah you like candles and you pray i don't pray but before. i'm i'm in there and i like a full report yeah. afterwards <laughs> You I've tried seen it to... <laughs> so much in our spiritual communities oh, boy. that people do this really beautiful, nice, yeah. gratitude-filled prayer-like ritual pre-eating a meal, and then when it comes out the other side, right. we're on our phone. Right, right. That's great logic. Right. What? Why isn't that prayer happening <laughs> on the toilet? What? Now that it's been digested, it's not good enough for you anymore. It's an interesting 
topic. <laughs> Should we be like, I gotta take a shit, and then be like, dear God, dear God, thank you, for thank you for, moment. thank you, for, yeah, thank you for this shit, thank you for <laughs> helping me get, get through my system, and then kind of really losing yourself in it, like as it kind of you know pushes out, yeah, especially those those growlers, you know, those yes. real, <laughs> those really fierce ones. I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting. I feel like there should be a whole sect of religious people that are devoted to this. You know how there are like uh, monks that starve themselves. I bet you there's a whole sect of people who just worship their duties. Oh, there's people. There's some people that have other people wh- worship their duties. For it, yeah. for yeah. it. People like her, her buddy. <laughs> Uh, they they get in there. Do know? we have to be present all the time? That's the question I would I would ask him. Is like, dude, listen, taking a dump is probably one of the most enjoyably mindless things I get to do yeah. every day. That's why it's awesome. It's yeah. you alone, or sometimes with a toddler on your lap, or a toddler running around, but mostly yeah. alone. Yeah. Or you check out and you just enjoy enjoy a body function. Yeah, yeah. Why do I have to fucking? Can't we just be mindless? Yeah, totally. What am I supposed to not yeah, be Just mindful? leave it in, in a different room and just set it aside and don't even go to the bathroom with your phone. But what I'm encouraging and supporting you to do <laughs> is to leave the phone no out of the thanks. bathroom completely. And what I encourage you to do is just drop in with yourself and let this be a moment where you honor <laughs> the sacred bringing in and letting go process that is this <sighs> sacred rhythm that we have in, in life and in the universe. Sure. Kind of a beautiful statement, though. Yeah. I like his earrings. Those are unique. Mm-hmm. They're they're alternative. Like they look spicy, the spiky and hurtful. Like they look like they hurt. Yeah, I'm getting my ears pierced. <laughs> Both of them. Yeah, it's a really good idea. You don't like it? I didn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> you said it was a really good idea, but I sensed like some type of you know what sarcasm. Kind of, what kind of earrings are you gonna get? Um, I'm gonna start with gold studs. Yeah, definitely. And hold on. And then I'm going to. Uh, I'll do hoops, and then I'm going to do diamonds. <laughs> I'm just going to... I like diamonds on you. You look good. You think so? Sparkling. Sparkling. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a tattoo. I've been talking about it for a long time. Okay. I want to get those knuckle tats we've been talking about. Oh, yeah. It says fuck you money on there. Yeah. I think you should have fuck you money before you get it. True. That's a problem. <laughs> That'd be funny if you're, you're doing your next special and it's like, yeah. fuck you. Yeah. You're holding the mic. Like, it would be great like, if Seinfeld had those for this late last special <laughs> right. and it said fuck you money on his hands. I'd be like, that's awesome. Yeah. But I think you I don't want to get that tat yet. Probably wait. Yeah. Yeah. But I do like those knuckle tats. That's going to happen in this I, lifetime. And I feel like you want a tat. You've been talking about it. It's my like midlife crisis thing. Yeah. I've been reverting to my goth stuff a lot, but I do. I kind of want a tat, dude. Is there any place you're considering? Yeah. Uh, the inner arm here. Inner forearm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The forearm. The problem is, is that I feel like in 10 years when I'm a 50 year old woman, yeah. I'll feel like a dick bag. I don't think so. I'll feel like a fucking asshole. I really don't think so. You don't think it'll be undignified when I'm no. like 80? First of all, you have to have it tastefully done. You got to, you got to have to have it done by a good artist. Yeah. And you, there's definitely a dignified way of doing it. Yeah. What if it's a sacred poop? Mm. Like my favorite poop. What do you mean? There, you don't have a favorite bowel movement. In Are you your gonna? Life? You're saying you're gonna date it? Commemorate it. So you'll be it. like eight, sixteen. <laughs> yeah. People will be like, "Oh, has someone died?" But like, no, just my the favorite dump. My best shit. <laughs> Are you already have the message in mind? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want like my, my kid's name or something. Yeah. My son. Mm-hmm. My son, not your son. Right. Definitely portraits of our dogs, too. Why don't you have his face? It always looks good when somebody has their <laughs> child's face tattooed on them. <laughs> Never looks bad. No. It always looks good. No. Forever, forever my child. He'll be like, oh, And then as your Mom. skin changes and it looks like, <laughs> ah, like he was in some type of chemical warfare accident. Yeah. yeah. I do like a trident or an octopus or something like that. An octopus? Like a cool one. Maybe shelve your idea <laughs> for a while. 20, 30 years and revisit it. I know. That's why I get the urge and I'm like, I should hold off. I like your idea. I think it looked cool. Well, I had the bad idea in the 90s of getting a fucking tramp stamp of a dragon. Yeah. Look how that went. Yeah, your aim here thing. Yeah. I hate it now. Mm. Thing is, though, do I go through the pain of removing it or do I just like, fuck it? Just I don't know. It, Depends know? on how, how much it bothers you. It's embarrassing. Remove it. Yeah. But I think the one you have in mind is actually cool. I really do. My kid's name? I think it's In cool. old English, though. Yeah. On my chest? 
chest. I would do paws. I love those. Those chest paws. Eve has those. Yeah. Those are those are fucking super weird, right? Why the why the why the cat paws on her chest? I always wondered. It's it's um shows you fun times. It's, fun times. Yeah, kitty it's like, kitty plays with titty. That's the whole idea. Oh, it's like when your cat steps on your chest and she's like commemorating where the cat steps on her. Yeah, exactly. Like you know when Bitsy steps on it's your chest. It's just getting you to look at titties. It's just like I'm, yeah. I'm fun. There's don't you look though. There's don't there's you slut shame me. Don't you look at my titties because <laughs> I have tattoos on them. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> this is my favorite. I've seen a lot of tattoos, like if you if you kind of go down rabbit holes of horrifically terrifying ones near genitals. It's pretty crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Like people have like the devil tattooed <laughs> above their box, <laughs> so it looks like the devil. Such a crazy mouth choice, is your, dude. Is your vajayjay? Yeah. Oof. It's such a choice. Um, crazy one. Like one guy had uh, poison. The word poison tattooed on his dong <laughs> and then an arrow pointing towards the tip. Like that's pretty that's, bold. That's that's crazy talk. Yeah. yeah. God damn, man. Mm-hmm. Or there's a real there's if you go I mean, they're all over, but like crazy asshole ones. Yeah. Where it's some something demonic and then the <laughs> the your asshole is is it's drawn on there so that your asshole is the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, ah, it's like a crazy demon. And then your mouth, the mouth is, it. I mean like, I don't yeah. know. And then people have put like funny things, you know, around their assholes, which I guess I appreciate it as a comedian. Sure. And just as a human being, but you're also getting your asshole tattooed. Wild. That's the thing I think about is that, I mean, it hurt. listen, I've only had the tramp stamp and that yeah. wasn't comfortable. Yeah. But I can't imagine the asshole being, an easy place to tattoo. It's got to be. It's got to be nuts. Yeah. That might be the s- most sensitive, besides your genitals. Yeah. I yeah. mean, or your eye eyelids. I don't even know how they give eyelid tattoos. I've seen those on television. Not not very often in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Just on those crime shows, <laughs> you see, there's some inmates with. I, I've seen eyelids. I've seen, <laughs> um, you know, whole face is just nuts. It's wild. The face is a, yeah. is bold. Inner and lip. I've seen that. I've seen that. You know, it, it, the, um, that yeah, one's but, not so bad. That doesn't last forever. You know that. Yeah, I've seen the bottom of a foot tattooed, which I'm like, that just has, to, you know, that's just for you for your amusement. Sure. But also, that, I feel like that would be painful and not good. Super painful. Um, but I feel like, yeah, face is pretty crazy. And I like the neck, actually. I do like a chest piece. Yeah. I like it on girls. When I see it, it looks really tough. I like it. Oh, you like the toughness of it? Yeah. Yeah, you I like, like throat? it. You like throat and stuff? I do. Yeah. Actually, there was a, a drug dealer that I went to college with, and oh, he that's had a, nice story. a lot of throat tats. And he had like, he was like a, a white guy with dreads. But uh, he, he wore, he rode a motorcycle. Like he was, he was tough as fuck, actually. He had yeah. the knuckle tats, the neck. Yeah, I mean, but some dudes, it's like they're born that way. Like yeah. they look good. This guy was yeah. hot. Yeah. Everyone with wanted his, to bang him with his with his dreads. With that's his, see, that's where you lost me. I'm like, yeah. no one wants to bang that white guy with dreads. Yes, everybody did, dude. He was white hot. guy with dreads. I'm telling you, it's never a good. It's look. very rare, but this yeah. boy was so goddamn. He, you know how like a dude figures out a look. Yeah, that and you're like, look. that was his look, dude. Yeah. Knuckle tats, throat, dreads, blonde, like bleached white, and then. So you think the dreads looked good? Yes. I'm wow. saying, and I don't say this, I'll never say this again, maybe Rob Zombie can pull it off, uh-huh. and this guy. So did you guys make love? I wish, no, but my roommate uh, at one point did. The one who I would predict would? Like, if of knowing the the roommates? No, like, you wouldn't even oh, know this girl. I didn't know. No, okay. no, no, She, you wouldn't even know her. And did she give you, like, stories? Was she like, Yeah, she felt, she fell in love with him. Oh, really? The so campus was... drug dealer, and then he was like, nah, because he had this really cute girlfriend that he was uh, with, and he kind of cheated on the girl. One well, yeah, he's with throat this. tattooed yeah. white guy with dreads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rides a motorcycle. Of course yeah. he cheats on her. Dude, he even had, like, a hot-ass friend. You know when, like, hot dudes, they roll, like, their best friend's hot? <laughs> but the thing is, they were, like, 25 at the yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was a freshman in college, and these dudes were, like, 25 and still in college and dealing drugs. I know that lane well because I'm one of those guys. I've been the hot guy, and, like, (laughs) I walk in, it's, like, me, Josh Potter, um, (laughs) you know. Uh, Right. All my friends. Yeah, we're super hot. Sickler. (laughs) We're just hot guys. That's how we roll. Because we know the pusses. We got to knock that shit down. You need help. Yeah. You can't be like, I can't fuck all this tonight. I can't fuck all this tonight. Yeah. Well, what that, I can't even imagine what that's like as a young man to be that guy that all the girls want to bang. Yeah, it's probably overwhelming. 
I'm assuming. I'm sure he had hepatitis or something. He was probably nasty as hell. He wasn't clean. Definitely. He did. A, but he did, probably lived his best life. I mean, think about it. He's got yeah. a motorcycle. Oh, dude. He got a throat tattoo. Money. Definitely bad decision. I don't care about the hair. What you think? It's a bad decision. Yeah. So he made a bad decision, but he he embraced it. Yeah. He's got. He's selling drugs. Yeah. He's All the get, chicks like that. He's getting box. Yeah. Girlfriend yeah. was hot. Like, Girlfriend's hot. He's yeah. fucking. Yeah. He lived his best life. He did. It'd be awesome if you could get an update on him right now. Uh, whoever went to school with me and you're listening, you know who I'm talking about. If you can text some <laughs> give friends, me, give me the update and get that. I can't actually. Page I know who knows. And get get a look, get a gander of what's going on now. <laughs> if he's alive, because yeah. I would say he was on the fast track to dying. Can I tell you? See, right? Because he did a lot of the bad drugs. I do yeah. know. I have an update on the hot friend. Yeah. Uh, Sarah sent it to me. He's yeah. not hot anymore. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is kind of. Well, it's been of, twenty years. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. pudgy and like he's like it everybody happens. now, yeah, middle aged. There's a window for that kind of shit, dude. You still, you got to get your tat. You're gonna regret not getting your tat. <laughs> I feel like that's what this whole thing was about. Fuck. You got to get your tat, man. You're saying I should have slept with the campus drug dealer too. Hundred percent. If you would have had that story right now, I would have loved it. <laughs> I didn't do anything and if sexually. You were, and if adventurous. you were like, dude, he he did things to me like i would never heard of. <laughs> And like it hurt, but like, and I cried a lot, but it was like, it was still good. Yeah. And you know. Sure. And then his hot friend came in and I was, I was airtight. I was like. Well, well stop yourself. <laughs> you know what? So I was talking about, I feel like this whole thing about, you know, we're, we allowed to, we're, we should do a slut walk. Everyone's allowed to be a whore. I feel like we've always been allowed to be a whore. Like, I don't know of course what were. these uptight girls are. Like in the nineties, all my friends were sluts. It's all the all ones. All whores. It's just whores. All doing it. It's people who have. They're, they have insecurities about being the whore. In other words, oh. they're judging that girl that sleeps around, and they feel weird about it. Like yeah, they they want to be as comfortable as she is with it. Yeah, because like, we all were. Everyone loves wh- whores when it works. Dude, when all my friends up. were hoes, and yeah. all every nobody talks shit to them. No, everyone loves it. And especially in San Francisco, when I went to college, it was like cool. It was cool. No one fucking slut shame people. We felt like it was like hanging outside of a bakery, and like they're like we're gonna we're gonna run out of uh we don't have we have too many cupcakes left over and you just you just be like oh man <laughs> like what if i hang out maybe i'll get one of those cupcakes yeah, it's like that yeah, yeah that's what no that's what but real talk like. and i went to an all-girls catholic high school we were so sex positive like i remember in 10th grade our friend gave her first blow job yeah she came in the next day and announced it and we all fucking high-fived her nobody was like oh you're a whore like yeah, of course. We loved that stuff. I think because we let's were get really through cute. this because we got to get LJ here. Ah, oh, fuck, he's up. All right, so let's this go. is how we do it. There's a few <laughs> steps to this process. Step number one is it involves going to the bathroom. We engage an intention. We bring yeah. in a visualization. <laughs> okay. We do a form of toning. Can I just take toning, a shit? I mean actually, like making a sound. No. Oh. A quick hit about the sound <laughs> is to flush things down our energy channel and out uh-huh. our root. It's helpful if we make a low sound. <sighs> And if uh, we're bringing things up through the upper chakras and out our crown, we want to make okay. a higher tone. like ah. And so we can use this toning tool to help us move excess energy in our body that might not be serving uh, us and help us clear some blockages. Uh, I feel like I make that sound already when I should. You do. Uh, <laughs> this guy lives alone. to use the low tone. He lives because alone. when we go to the bathroom, a root area is not only opening up physically to let things go, but it's yeah. also opening up energetically to let things go. Right. And right. so... There's once this energetic center is open <laughs> yeah. and we're releasing physically and energetically, <laughs> this we guy. can align this with our intention. I'm gonna let go of some anxiety that I'm feeling in my belly and like help it encourage it down. He's sweet. He though. goes but he goes through all this to take a shit. <laughs> His life is too complicated. He definitely lives stuff, by this himself. Is really important is yes. because we're opening up physically, yes, oh, and Jesus energetically. Christ. It's important that when we're done and complete our sacred releasing ritual, uh-huh. that we close the energy energy uh, center. Your asshole? Energy <laughs> loves to leak out. We've heard about this phenomenon. Yeah, yeah, it does. The, the leaky energy problem. Yeah. Especially with women. Le- you got to close that you door. close your vag. Energy can easily leak out of our root oh. and sacred <laughs> area if we're not. Oh, so by adding the yoga elements of the Mula Banda, that's the PC muscle punch of Pedro And so by engaging that muscle, it's an act of closing the, that energy center. So energy can't continue to leak out. <laughs> yeah. You're saying, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 
get it now. You got all that Wait, energy. but you're saying that King Asher has been practicing this. For years. Listen to that breath work. Yeah. Listen to that. He's breathing. <laughs> Release. Sounds, appreciating what he ate and letting it all out and then closing his right. energy door. You motherfuckers can do rip ass like this. Right, so King uh, Ass Ripper. I'm farting on you haters. Yeah, Isn't and he's it? farting on the haters. It is. F all the haters. <laughs> he's an intentional farter and a shitter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's been doing. He's been mindful duding for a long time before this guy. He's really been doing it. Um, oh my god, that was great. That was fantastic. You we, know, more dump clips. Really, I really, feel like okay. I feel like this really lifted my spirits. This is what I needed today. Thank you so much for. Really bringing the clips that I would respond to. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, thank you, Blue Band. <laughs> and um, yeah, I really feel like uh, it's very exciting. So <laughs> normally we would have had Martin and Risa together, um, but we don't because uh, of our circumstance today. I'm so jealous, too. But that's what you're going to see now. If you uh, keep watching this podcast or keep listening, we're, we're going to tack on a segment where Martin brought presents, which I don't want to give away yet. Um, and he also uh, brought three new waters to try, which I have to get you to try them. I'm so excited. And then um, that's it. It should be really fun. So uh, thank you to Martin Risa for coming in. Go to the Patina Restaurant downtown L.A. Thanks for listening. Please go to your yourmomshousepodcast.com. You know the deal. You know the tickets that are on sale for the tour. You know the merch. Thank you guys, as always, for listening to the podcast, and we'll see you next week, Gene. Thanks, Gene. <laughs> All right, this is a nice treat for us, uh, in this case, particularly me, um, because I don't know if, well, we, I'm sure we discussed it during the episode, but um, we have no, we had a nanny call in sick today, which happens, that's life. So I, the more important uh, true water champ of the family, am going to enjoy some uh, nice new waters. We're being revisited by Martin Risa, the water sommelier, um, the international number one water sommelier, who um, also you can you can visit if you'd like to. You can go and they can make a reservation and eat sure. at uh, uh, Patina, right? At Patina Restaurant in downtown Los Angeles in the Walt Disney Concert Hall. Yeah. I'm always there for you. And actually, we had some guests who saw me here on the show last time coming over now to Patina, and there was a lot of fun. Really? Do some water tasting with them, and they really enjoyed it, and... A lot of fun. It's a fun experience. I feel like that was the, um, it was a funny episode. Like when you participate, when you came over the first time, all these people were like, what the fuck are you doing <laughs> yeah. having this guy on? But I think this is totally normal. Even I'm getting the same response in the restaurant all the yeah. time. It's like when you're giving them water menu and telling them I'm a water sommelier, yeah. they think like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. What's wrong with you? But then they were all fascinated. Like, and I, I've been on this uh, thing too, where, you know, I travel a lot. I'm meeting people all the time. Sometimes water comes up it always comes up when somebody grabs a water like let's say i'm going from the hotel or the airport to the hotel and then the uh you know the show runner the person that runs the the the, the theater runner who like will run help you run errands the day you're in mm -hmm. town will stop in and then i'll see them pick up like a bottle of smart water I'll be like, nah, man, you can't do that. And they're like, what? <laughs> I'm like, that's garbage, dude. Throw that shit out. And then we start having talks about minerals. I don't know, it becomes this fascinating thing where it's yeah. almost like there's so many things in life that are convenient to not know that you just go like, I don't have time to care about everything. Yeah. Um, but then there's certain things where you go, well, it's important enough for me to to give a shit about. Mm. So, I yeah, mean, especially I think when you're putting something into your body, huh? Yeah. I think you should really think I mean, about it what you're putting into your body. Of course. That's well, very very important. Water is is pretty essential, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think Did so. You see that uh, an artist made this? Oh, that is cool. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. That is I love this. It says the water champion he sculpted that whole thing. Incredible. That is really awesome. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's some additional <laughs> <factors. Additional. laughs> so gaming sauna yeah you got a lot of traction i mean you know from the podcast a lot of people were into that did you get um some fun interesting messages and uh emails from people 
uh, the first thing, and I was like completely shocked, obviously, when the first guy said, hi, Hitler. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? What did I do on the show? And I didn't know. <laughs> and then I realized, because I watched more and more episodes now, yeah. and then I realized, oh, now I'm getting it. You're like, there's, uh, it's not just me. It's not just me. I'm not just because I am can perfectly say hi, Hitler, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's a German accent, but uh, now I'm getting it. And and this was obviously a little shocking in the beginning for of me, but course. now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting hey, it, Hitler. and now I'm totally fine with this. Yeah. Hey, Hitler. Yeah. she um, She's pretty wild. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, she's got she's got <laughs> problems. <laughs> she but, has serious problems. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but it was really fun to, to be on the show, and, and I never thought i getting so much response out of that. Like, yeah. I don't know. I've I gained hundreds of followers suddenly. Uh, people were all over me. They sent me text messages. I'm still getting Instagram posts all the time now. And, and tagging you with the yeah, water. Yeah, tagging me with their water they're drinking and ask me, hey, what do you think about this water? What do you think about that water? And I'm trying, obviously, my best always to to, to respond to everybody. That's great. And and saying like, hey, cool, how, thank you so much for thinking about me. And, and I love this. This is so cool. And this yeah. is the whole idea, I think. We want to engage with people. Yeah. We want to talk about water. And I want to give water value. That's the whole point why I was in the first place here as well. And water should be fun and water should be enjoyable. And and it's it's great to be back. Well, good. I'm so happy to have you back. Um, and I, I really feel like, too, it's like it's one of those things where with water, it is something you engage with every day. So like even all the jokes aside from our podcast, I mean, you're going to have water every day. I mean, we are. Yeah. And I feel like you coming on just opened my eyes to the possibilities and to the information, like the education of it. So it's been fascinating for me, man. Like I, I really do think about it now when I'm in these... Like I said, all over the country, different cities have different options. Where was I? I was just in Texas. And um, when I went to, where was I? It was either in, I think it was when I was in San Antonio. San Antonio, yeah, it was. I went to this uh, pretty nice restaurant. We're having a pre-show meal. And the guy's like, you know, they're trying to sell us their cocktails. And I was like, well, Mm -hmm. we're going to do show. So Mm -hmm. I said, I just want sparkling water. And he goes, do you want a Pellegrino or a ba 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 and something I hadn't heard? And I go, yeah. I go, what's that? And he goes, what's that? He goes, oh, that's a Mexican sparkling water. Topo it's Chico. A, it's a staple of maybe San Antonio or whatever. Yeah. And I go, it's for sure, Topo Chico. Okay, very I go, very great, cool sparkling water. I go, Mexico. hook that shit up, man. Let's have some Mexican sparkling water. I love water. this. So it was like a fun, you know. Normally, I don't even know if you if you hadn't been here and kind of talked about trying stuff. I may have just been like, I don't know what that is. I'll take Pellegrino. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I now I try to like experiment and try to yeah. have a little more. Man, you've you just been through Sober October. I know, man. So, and first of I all, congratulations to you. Shit house this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. But I think even for people who say like, okay, I want to be a whole month without alcohol. Yeah. There are other options for you. Sure. And it's not just about or other option means like sodas or juices or something like that. Yeah. No, water has options as well, and there right. is some really really cool stuff on it. Yeah, yeah. And that is a fun thing. Oh my god, I drank so much water on Thursday night. I went to this uh, place that had a speakeasy. Mm-hmm. attached to it and they have they're like a bourbon bar bourbon whiskeys and everything and they're having me try japanese whiskeys and all this shit i mean after about an hour and a half of Yamazakis. Doing that, yeah very cool stuff yeah i have this as well at the restaurant after an hour and a half of that i was like hey man i need to start drinking some water and i think i had like 11 glasses of water <laughs> before i left yeah, you were the place. real water champ, huh? Oh, I'm the water so, champ. <laughs> and I was also becoming the drunk champ. So I was like, <laughs> I, I actually felt somewhat okay the next morning, yeah. I think because I just pounded water. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. The thing is what a lot of people always don't think, like they're thinking, oh, alcohol makes you uh, dehydrated. That's actually not really true. Right. Alcohol is to make you more going to the restroom. Yes. So that's the reason, that's the whole point why you're dehydrating because you need to keep go, going. You keep going, keep going, keep going the whole time and you're forgetting maybe to drink water. So when you replenish yourself all the time with some good mineral water, there will be no hangover next day. Really? You will be fine. There you, you go. You will be fine. Um, I'm, I'm very, very tempted to just grab stuff. I'm so excited. You brought three to try today? I bef- uh, Yeah, I brought three different waters, but before that, I have a little present for you. Oh, okay. And so. is this what you, the file you sent me or no? No, no, not no? yet, okay. not yet. So the first present, and this is actually for you, 
um, because you did the whole Lamborghini prank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love this. Yeah. And before that, you told me you are the head champ now as well. That's right. That's right. And I know your addiction to cars. Yes. And I have to admit, I love cars too. Cars are fun, man. So I ordered something from Germany for you. What? And I think this would be a perfect little present. Oh. So I get you the perfect <gasps> Martini racing Whoa, Porsche man. I love cap it. for you. You're a, you're a gentleman. Thank you, sir. So I think that would be a nice thing, especially when the sun is blowing. Yeah. And this will be a great hat for you when Look you're driving you. your your nice car. Thank you, sir. Let me see. Let's try it on the other way. Maybe you need to change it in the back or something else. Yeah, but dude, that's very nice of you. Thank you for doing that. But I that. thought like I, I saw that and I thought like this is the perfect gift for Tom. Yes. Here we go. Oh, dude. Tag Here we go. That looks here. perfect. Yeah. Love this. Love it. And Love then I brought it. something for you both. And okay. I have a little video as well, but I want to showcase first what I brought because obviously I'm working in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. And you guys talking all the time about eating stuff as well on the show. Mm hmm. What have I you brought done, moose soup. What? <laughs> what? You brought real moose soup? Real moose soup created yesterday by my Michelin star chef, Andreas Roller. And I have a video here where you can see no. where we created this yesterday. Holy cow. This real is... moose soup for the main mummies. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh, my God. Hold on. This is unbelievable. You did not even tell me you were doing this, by the way, because otherwise I would have had this. No, part. no, that's the reason. I just... Yes. Here we go. Yes. I just sent, and this is the reason I just sent you the link via Dropbox yeah. because I didn't know that you were sneaking on me and like, oh, what is he sending me? Like, let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. But then I wouldn't have that surprise. So it was for me important to get some moose soup in the beginning. And obviously, some people will say like, what the hell is this here? Why is Martin has like this crazy bunch here? But this is like how we are presenting or preserving actually stuff at the restaurant. So we're cooking everything and then it goes into a vacuum. Yeah. And then it will be staying perfectly for I cannot believe many, you're many a days. genius. So this is actually real good moose soup from uh, the moose is coming from Vermont actually. Freshly flown so this in is, yesterday. This is this is moose soup for real. This is real moose soup. Okay, I think we're going to lose our minds. Um, so should I open it up? Should yeah, I sure. It? Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. Let's It's see a little here. video. So there's no really sound, so yeah. you can you can mute the sound. But it's just a little video. Okay. About Where we actually are, so it's Musu Patina style. This it's funny because I was about to say to you that like we should tell the audience what uh, caliber restaurant. Correct. So it's a Michelin is. star restaurant. It's one of the flagships what we are operating. It's the number one restaurant in Los Angeles, and this is Andreas Roller, our executive chef. And this is like dishes what we are plating, like for example turbo, like a little salmon crostini, um, kumadai, a little Whoa. devil eggs, Whoa. little sweets. So and this is the actually mousse what we received from Vermont yesterday, and yeah. he's like carving it right now and these are the wow. fillets you can see it's very very dark meat it's beautiful very red meat this is little, beautiful little garlic obviously for the beautiful breath because i know you love i love you garlic love, breath. you love garlic I mean, breath i love garlic breath if i'm going to give a kiss to christina they are sure. all the different uh, ingredients obviously as well from this and is then we're putting it into into a little so this guy's a stud chef, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a master degree on chef as well from Germany. He comes from a three-star Michelin restaurant in, in Germany, the Hotel Traube Thunbach, and uh, he really knows his shit. Yeah. So he's putting some fire on it as well to get some rust aromas to the mousse. Yeah. That's and he fun. had a lot of fun as well to it. So obviously he wouldn't end. This is not a thumb right there, You yeah. the, the white thing. Yeah. There are like different herbs in it, and we uh -huh. don't want that the herbs are touching actually the food. We just want the aromas of the herbs. Really? So putting it into this small little... Small little bag, and then we're putting it back out later on. And then it's getting reducted, a little bit of I'm blown away garlic. That you did this. Here we go. And this is like how the finished product looks like. I'm blown away. Here we go. Let's see what the chef. Yeah, he, yep. like, he did a little bit. He likes it. He, he likes yeah, it. That's good. <laughs> so I haven't tasted it yet. He just yeah. tasted it, but I'm very excited for you. And you should try it out. I got my bag as well at home. So oh, I, I think this will be a lot of fun for you. It's on, dude. It is on. Uh, that's so nice of you. Thank you sure so thing. much. Sure thing. Because everybody was talking about moose soup and I was like googling moose soup, moose soup, moose soup. I never heard about this. Yeah. And then I was finding out a little bit and then I talked to Andreas, my chef, and he's like, hey, let's cook some moose soup. Let's make it. And we did this yesterday and we had a lot of fun actually with that. That is... So he, he enjoyed it as well. That's, uh, yeah. 
That's as as cool a thing as I've heard somebody doing. Thank you. O M G. Yeah, that's uh, we're gonna come we're gonna, down later for moose soup. We're gonna do it. She should come down as well. She should. Yeah, huh? yeah. She, I wonder what, what she would think of a Michelin stars version of a moose of soup. A moose soup I would you know, love to know this as well because I saw pictures and they already looked like a poop of apes or something like this. It's poop like poop of <laughs> apes. It's like there are some disgusting Musso pictures online. I have to say that it's like really some pictures were like literally like okay when you are really really sick and you're going to the you're going to the restroom and you already know there are some problems with your stomach and you're yeah. you're looking afterwards what happened to you in in the in the toilet and this is like sometimes what Musso looks like. Oh my god! It's like <laughs> you don't want to know. It's like okay. it's really like. Uh, really are shit. these photos to be looked at as well, or is it? Yeah, also we because like I was here in March or April, I think. Yeah this year and there's so many things happen I was in China they did a big water tasting there over 100 different waters and I will be coming up on Netflix for the Bill Nye show oh that's great so yeah the science guy uh, the science guy I had a lot of fun with this guy and he invited me to do a water tasting and he gave me three different waters the first water was LA Tap the second water was double distilled water, what I refused to drink. Mm -hmm. Because I said, like, what the fuck? Why should I drink double distilled water? There's yep. no benefits for me, so forget it. Yep. I'm not drinking this. And the third water, what we're seeing right now there, exploration life support water. Yeah. This is actually out of space water from the International Space Ship. This is their recycled water, what they're drinking. So it's astronaut water. This is what they're drinking? This is what they're drinking on the spaceship. Oh, so in space. In space. They have to. Re I didn't yes. think they recycle their water. Yes. So this was the most unique water I ever tasted in my life. So it's water recovery and management from the NASA Marshall Space Flight Center. And when you go on the next page or the next photo, you will see what that actually is. So it's recycled uh -uh. water made from waste products extracted by the employees of summer 2015. Actually, it's out of this world. Yeah, it was out of this world because this is nothing else than sweat shower water, distilled urine, uh, condensation, and then they're adding some silver uh, to make uh, it all purified and clean. What Waste products excreted yes. by the employees. So I was drinking that. I even revisit that water. So I drank it twice, and they all looked at me. There was one comedian right next to me. He's like, what the fuck? Like, you're... you're you're refusing to drink double distilled water, but you're drinking that shit? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I was like, yeah, I want to taste that. How I did it really taste? It has an extremely heavy smell first. So when you're smelling that glass, it smelled like when you're walking into a dentist office. Yeah. Like this chemical, very like weird smell. Yeah. It was very sweet in taste. Because silver adds sweetness to your water. Yeah. It was not yummy, let's face this. It's not the water what I would strong? drink all the time. Is it like no, a... No, it's not really, but it's you can you can taste like this whole chemical aspect to it. Mm -hmm. It's like LA Tap times five Oof. in this chlorine and silver and chemical. You can really smell and drink chemicals. It's not really enjoyable. Is there a rated, I mean, were they able to find out the mineral content of nope. that water? No. Nope. Nope. And it's highly distilled as well, so obviously right. the mineral content has to be extremely, extremely low. low. Okay. Extremely low. Yeah, because otherwise, if it wasn't stripped, it yeah. would be like getting people sick. So the fun part about this water is that oh. obviously the ISS, the International Space ship has two divisions. It's a Russian division and an American division. The Russians recycling their water as well, but they don't use their own urine. They're like, nah, nah, that's too nasty for us. So the Americans even collecting the urine of the Russians. And use that? Yes, and using that as well. <laughs> because, hey, it's so, so expensive. So there's Ruski pee yes. in our... So, oh my oh, God. Yeah. So they told me this. It that's was interesting, spying. interesting story about that. That's really whack. So you will see me on Netflix episode f uh, four on the second season. It's coming up hopefully in end of November. Unbelievable. I love this. But it was a lot of fun. Next one, can I go to the next page? Is yeah, the same sure. Thing, or? There's uh, like a picture of Bill Nye uh, and then... yeah with me and this is like the three waters up there and the producer came up to me and because they want to do a blind taste first with me so they put all the three waters and I was just smelling them and I could tell them right away which water is what. Really? Yeah, and they're like, what? Are you the smell champ now or what? Yeah, yeah, you and are. And I was like, no, you can smell the difference. Yeah. LA Tap was just the pool from the backyard. Yeah. Then this double distilled water had no smell at all uh -huh. and then this... Urine astronaut water was just like disgusting Potent. smell. Yeah. It was just disgusting. And this is like on the show that was like for my wife took the pictures from the audience and That's very so cool. So it will be a fun little really fun sequence. Oh, that's great, man. It will be a good one. Okay. 
So the next picture, and this is a water, what I brought, it's called Svalbardi from Norway. And this picture, uh, the, the bottle already is kind of stunning, because I will want to open this Which right bottle now. is it? It's this one? Oh, the one that's in the... This is like what you buy high-end liquor comes yeah. in a case yeah. like that. It has the price of a high-end liquor. It does? So it runs $150 in the restaurant. Get out of here. Yes, 50 bucks it costs you when you want to buy it retail, and $150 we are charging at the restaurant, but we are selling it. People are really addicted to it. Really? They're really interesting. Yeah. So is this a flat water? Yes, I brought wow. three still waters today. I thought like today is a, a still November month. We drink still water. Still water. This is from Norway? From Norway. This comes from, from the Antarctic. So it's a polar iceberg water. So the mineral content obviously is extremely low. It's 21 TDS. Mm -hmm. Very, very low. Because this water has never been touched on the ground. It's like rainwater drips down. It goes right away on the ice glacier and freezes up. This water is around 15,000 years old. What's in the bottle right here? And... Uh, I see the picture right here. So they're harvesting these icebergs. And now some people would say, like, are you nuts, Martin? So you're, you're, we all know, like, global warming and everything. Yeah. Now you're, like, taking the icebergs even away. It's yeah. like, no, these are icebergs who are breaking down, like, totally normal. Mm -hmm. They're starting to dilute then into the North Sea. And when they are diluted, you cannot use that water anymore because then it's, like, heavily salted. Yeah. So they're picking up these huge icebergs. And you can see, like, they are tons. They are super heavy. They have their own vessel. They're picking up these icebergs and then melting them down into this bottle. So it's something very cost intensive and therefore cost intensive and also it's not gonna be that they're not gonna make millions no, of bottles. No, no, no. So I think they did ten thousand bottles last year. So that's why the price point yes. is gonna be elevated. It's something very, very unique. Um that's fascinating. So it's a very fun, interesting water to start your sober November, maybe. Oh my goodness. And it's gonna be as you mentioned, a pretty low... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it's still a distinct flavor or no? That's the interesting part. So I had three bottles already in tasting, and all three bottles tasted slightly different. And that makes sense because it's a, mother, it's a product of nature again. And all these icebergs, they're floating into the sea, so sure. obviously all these icebergs have a slightly different flavor to it. And the name again is? Svalbardi. Svalbardi is a region in Norway, and they're calling that water as well Svalbardi. So let's see what this version tastes like. Mm-hmm. To me, it's very smooth. Yeah, like definitely. Very, very smooth. I think so, too. It's very smooth, but it has, when you drink it, and it's it's right away gone. Mm -hmm. There's like, it's almost dries out your palate, I think. Yeah. It doesn't really have this refreshing aspect to it. That's interesting. And that is because it's lacking minerals. Because it's lacking minerals. Yes, because there's not enough minerals in there, so your, your body and your mouth saying like, hey, what's oh, going on? Can we get some more? Can I get yeah. some more? Because there's like barely anything in there, so I want more water to get more minerals. Interesting. But it's a good water. I like it. It's extremely, because it's so smooth, it's very nice for wines. So when you have like a tannin-rich red wine or something like yeah. that, yeah. or maybe a whiskey, yeah. what you just told me, so um, that will very, very cool work with this because this, this heaviness of alcohol will be smoothed away of this very smooth water. So it's a, it's a very good water. And I don't want to drink everything because I think your wife, Christina, need to drink something as well. And she will kill both of us, I think, when we probably, when we're killing the bottles here yeah. just for us and so we don't, we don't share. That's, that um, be mean. but I have to say that is a very pleasurable tasting. In other words... Uh, oh I, yeah, it's it's enjoyable. I think so too. It's not. It's something that you go like, oh okay. I mean, yeah. it's a satisfying sip of water. Oh absolutely. It um, wouldn't satisfy my pocket, I have to say, because it's pretty expensive. Bucks, so. <laughs> or or one fifty in a restaurant, yeah, yeah. but so That's somebody could go out and buy it. Though, where would you buy stuff like that? I was so you can buy because a lot of people ask me as well, like, hey Martin, where can you buy all these crazy waters? What you had last time on the show. And we said, uh, it's Aqua Maestro in Florida. So these are the people who can actually, or they're importing mostly of the very unique waters in this country. So you can call up Brett. This is his name, Aqua Maestro. And can you say time, that slower? Aqua Maestro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and he even gave... Uh, like Aqua Maestro? Yes, here we go. Okay. Look, my German accent, my no, funny I know. German I, accent again, huh? Believe me, I, I just wanted to, ba I wanted to make sure I was... Thank you. So, Aqua Maestro. Aqua Maestro, yes. In Florida. In Florida. So, you Google in Aqua Fort Maestro. Fort Lauderdale. Okay. They're singing Fort Lauderdale. And okay. then you will find them right away. Last time, and I will talk to Brad again, last time they gave actually 10% off for everybody who mentioned your mom's house podcast. What? Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> so because they had so many inquiries suddenly for his guild. Okay. So that was kind of cool, and I think this is a nice thing. And for sure, Brett will do this again when you call him up and say, "Hey, I, I listen to your Mumsal podcast." And I heard Martin. Party. Yeah. For okay. sure, he will do something again. Okay. He's a nice guy. Um, yeah, that he was likes to hydrate very people. interesting. Yeah. Um, can I switch to the next one here? The next yeah. page. Sh- is so next there's picture? a next next picture already, uh, and you can see the that's vessel. Fucking nuts! Uh, where these icebergs are collecting. So this ship goes out, picks up, like scoops up, almost like a fisherman yes, like, would be picking correct. up shrimp and just has a boat yeah. full of icebergs yeah. Yeah. and then they take yeah. that back to some factory and correct correct and then they're diluting this water obviously into the bottle that's so it really has never touched anything nope just icebergs and the glass that's wild man and then our mouth now yeah that's that is wild it's a fun product yeah i like this and they won because i told you i was just Sval- recently in Sva- svalbard svalbard Svalbardi. Svalbardi iceberg water. And they just won the... Uh, in China was a big water competition and they was just like the silver medal for taste and then they won the gold medal for the uh, the product in general. Oh, the presentation. The presentation is awesome. Yeah, that's outstanding. Yeah, I think so too. And that's, I have to say, that's like a lot of people at my restaurant, they're obviously going in the water menu and they see this beautiful bottle and they say like, do you know what? Hey, sh- I want to drop 150 bucks for a water. Yeah. Why not? Why not? It's hey. an experience. Some people driving a Lamborghini yeah, I mean, to, to, to the gym or to a hot yoga, and whatever, some people man. drinking water. It's just how I bucks, live, man. man. What am I going to do? This is how we're rolling now yeah. uh, these days. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's, um, what's this next one? So the next one, I was very surprised when I heard about this, that yeah. Chuck Norris has a water. Come on. This is the official Chuck Norris water, Seaforce, from Texas, from his... Privately owned ranch. Really? Yes. He has a water. And May I see this bottle? Yes. I reached out to them and they were so happy to give me some products and said like, hey, that's so cool what you're doing. So I did already a video on YouTube about the, the taste profile of Seaforce. And I thought it would be a fun thing to bring it here to the show now today. Because I'm, yeah. I'm a big Chuck Norris fan, I have to admit this. Sure. I think he's he's cool and crazy. And so I went to the homepage as well, and they're saying, so Chuck Norris heard that you guys are thirsty. Mm-hmm. So he punched the grounds and made the earth cry. Yes. Therefore, we get some water now. So it's Mother's Earth Tears. Hey, man. I mean, I'm willing to give him a shot. Chuck Norris can try anything. Chuck Norris. Yeah. But isn't it teasnil spring water? And I love this, and they're very proud about this, that they're saying, no, we are not purifying anything. We want minerals. TDS is around 300 on this water. So, okay, that's So that's actually a pretty pretty good, stable mineral water. That's some mineral, yeah. Yes. By U.S. law, this is actually mineral water considered. Everything over 250 TDS means it's a mineral water. Okay. So this is considered to be a mineral spring water from Texas, Seaforce. Hmm. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It definitely tastes different. Oh yeah. Uh, from the from the small body. Yeah, I think so too. It has a little sweetness to it. I think. Hmm. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not that into it. You're not into Chuck Norris, huh? I mean, I'm into Chuck Norris. <laughs> but I don't know what it is about it. It's like, it's almost like it's just under the taste I'm supposed to be tasting mm-hmm. or just over something that's supposed to be masked. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like mm-hmm. it's like it's very So you feel maybe because the name Chuck Norris on it, you feel something powerful, maybe a Vichy or Roy or something like this. That's something like outrageous and taste what I we had thought last time. I just had different expectations. Yeah. Maybe that's it. That might be what it is as well. Because yeah. the TDS the three hundred again, yeah, I think it's a good product. Obviously it's not so unique than maybe the Svalbardi story or the skill what we had last time where we changed change it into milk when you're shaking the bottle. It doesn't have something so extremely unique, obviously. Also, you know what it is also, is that I think, I mean, without being as familiar with waters as you are, when you said 300 and that this would be considered mineral water, I think my brain was also like, oh, now this, this is going to have a taste to it. Mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. it tastes like very subdued. Okay. So yeah, I that just, makes sense. Yeah, I just didn't taste, I don't really taste yes. much with it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
But it was for me interesting to see that Chuck Norris has That's a very own water. Yeah. And I wanted to test that out. And it was I for can't me interesting. I imagine trying to get into the water game, like trying to get into bottled water. Seems like... Maybe such. you should create a Your Mom's House water. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that market is for, real For all easy the mummies, for, for all the people who wearing their jeans high what and would, tight. What, <laughs> what would be our game plan? I mean, what source are we going to tap... Um, oh, I have a lot of connection in that. Yeah? That okay. is actually easy for me. Okay. The marketing, though, right? Uh, because I have a brand as well. It's called Beverly Hills 90 h Oh, that's right. So, and it was last week on the Jimmy Fallon show. That's very, okay. Jimmy Fallon tasted, and you can see it on YouTube right now, uh, two chains tasted with Jimmy Fallon 90 h on the show. And? And it was a blind taste test, New York tap, the famous New York tap, what's considered to be one of the best tap waters in the States yeah. versus 9 h 2 And it's a very funny video. It is? Yeah. Oh, my God. So Jimmy Fallon is like looking at these two glasses and tasting the first glass and realized, holy shit, that tastes so bad. Yeah. This has to be tap. And yeah. it was New York tap. And he's like, and he felt almost like embarrassed. And he yeah. said, like, I love the city. I'm being grown up here in New York, but this is outrageous. <laughs> it was like that water is just... No way, I'm not gonna drink this. Really? And two chains said right away, yeah, I don't drink tap. I don't drink tap. That's not my style. That's not how I roll. Yeah. I don't drink tap. And then they tasted 9H2O and Jimmy fell into the camera like, oh la la, this is expensive shit. Oh, really? So that was good. It was a funny, very funny video. Your water's available everywhere? Yeah, not really everywhere. Right now, because it's a very small production water as well. And Beverly's 9 h is actually sold out right now, right after the Jimmy Fallon show, obviously. We sold out right away. You got to be thrilled with that. It's crazy. It was great, but we need to produce now again. So it's very tricky. And it's not that easy. A lot of people always think, oh, they, they just open a tap and they're filling this. this. No, no, because I'm a maniac. I'm German. I yeah. want to be like crazy and I want to be a control freak when it comes of to course. this. I want to make sure this water is perfect. Yeah. So we're sourcing that water from the San Diego mountains. And I'm very con I'm very strict about where the source is coming from, which plastic, which PET we're using, because I don't want to have any BPA, any chemicals in there. It's a beautiful blue bottle. The bottle, what we showcase on the Jimmy Fallon show, is a glass bottle as well. I'm very strict about the glass as well. I'm, I'm like a control freak when it comes to this. Mm. For me, quality is the non plus ultra. And I don't want to just give some water on the mass market and to, to just make a fast buck. That's not me. Yeah. Therefore, right now, 9H show is sold out, but it will definitely come back when, better when, way to be, I, right? when I feel the quality is perfect and then I will release the next batch. Great. That's awesome. I want to get a batch of that. That was important. I will bring it next I, time. I want to get a batch I will bring it next time. Um, you have one more. One more. We're going to Australia. Aquilife. And this bottle, and you can see it already on the label, it's a little beaten up. Mm -hmm. well, they sent me a whole case of water and actually just three bottles survived. The rest was broken. Wow. So it's all the time I have this. And obviously my landlord at my apartment always saying like, what the hell is this always? Why are you getting all these beat up packages yeah. from all around the world? Because these days, and this is the fun, cool thing about me as a water sommelier, that literally people from around the world sending me water snow all the time. You got to love that. It's really fascinating. It's also your passion. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's completely fascinating to taste all the different mineral waters from around the world. So Aquilife has a TDS of 1,300. So this Whoa. is considered a very high mineral water. Oh, and then it's gonna... a still version. And this is for me fascinating because mostly high mineral waters are sparkling waters. But this is a are still they water. Sparkling just because it's more palatable for, for minerals? Or no, no, I don't want to say this, but a lot of high mineral content waters coming with CO2 out of the grounds. Oh, okay. So, so they're already, they're all true natural yeah. CO2. And Aquilife is a still water from and Australia. you've with, tried this, yes? Yeah, I tried this already. This I really is, like this water. Um, a thousand... A thousand three hundred. This is definitely going to have a flavor. <laughs> yeah. It has to. It has a texture. It has a texture? It has a texture. Okay. Oh, yeah. That this is heavy water. Yeah. This is for me literally heavy. See, I never, ex and this is for me fascinating. And this is like what I love when I'm tasting waters. This is so unique in textures, almost if you're drinking like high percentage milk or olive oil. This yeah. is like the, the mouthfeel. You know what's funny? You're Because you know, everyone's brain sends different thoughts. I'm anticipating like my 
my moment before was like, oh, it's going to be salty. Like that was my my thought. Mm -hmm. Sure, but it's it's like oil, mm -hmm. but like it's oil, like smooth, yeah. like yeah. like mineral oil, yeah. like. Uh, it's almost like if olive oil was something you could drink, right? Yes. It's like a richness to it. When you would close your eyes, you would think you would drink olive oil or you would drink milk or something yeah. like this. You would not think this is water because it's so heavy mm -hmm. in your palate. And this is for me fascinating. That's the reason I'm trying to get them. They don't have distribution right now in the States. I'm trying to get them on my new water menu, what I will launch at Patina next month. Because I think it's something so unique. I want to showcase that. That is a water for me again like... What my brain is like, holy cow, that yes. is so cool that Mother Nature gives me something so crazy and so unique. Of the three, for me, by far the most unique taste. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and the first one's by far the most unique story. Yeah. And and, yeah. and also very satisfying. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I think it's an interesting exercise again to see three still waters this time. Last time I brought yeah, the, still the and sparkling. Yeah, the mix and match was amazing. And I wanted to, wanted to showcase even still water. Yeah. tastes differently and has a different texture and and can taste completely different this is so cool um yeah man i'm fascinated and so again if you want to try people because we got hit up like to you know the people wanted me to keep posting about the waters and aqua maestro yes in, in Fort florida, florida. Mm -hmm. um bookmark that you should if you are a foodie if you love restaurants you come to los angeles go to patina and you could even possibly meet Martin and and try some water. I'm trying to be there on a daily basis. I'm so trying that. my best. Um, and then put a, a reminder in your phone to get Beverly Hills a 90H20 H20 um, when it comes back on the market. And this watch Bill Nye. This will be a fun one. Yeah. That's a really good one. And don't you have your own site as well? Or oh, no? yeah, sure. Martin slash Reza.com, obviously my own homepage. Okay. Facebook, Instagram is always Martin Reza, so it's yes. easy to find me, I think. And yeah. we will definitely do a post again of the three waters, what we tasted. We yes. will share this on our Instagram accounts. Yes. And I had one more question. Because yeah, sure. you talked about the Lamborghini prank. Yeah, that was so fun. And I was fun. so fun and fascinating. I was laughing my ass off and my yeah. wife woke even up because I was watching that episode in my bed in the middle of the night yeah. and she was sleeping already and she's like, what the hell is this? An earthquake or why is she shaking the bed? And I was laughing that hard <laughs> when you, when you, it was so good, when you said like, holy shit. <laughs> And you made this voice impression of, of Bert. It was brilliant. Oh, yeah. But you were talking about the bottled water, what you had for them. And I was like the whole time guessing. Oh. So when is he telling me which bottled water? Uh, it was a, it's interesting that you asked. It was, it was more of a... Uh, or was it a container? Yes. Ah, here we go. I thought so. That's what it was. So a guy, I posted it on our... Um, on our uh, Instagram once sent us a case of these different, I think it's called Mir. Oh, cool. Uh, like water bottles. Yeah, I mean, not yeah, you know, yeah. containers, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the thing. And so he sent these to, they're vacuum insulated and it keeps, whatever temperature you put it in there at, stays like that for like 35 hours. Oh, that's hours. awesome. So they were really cool. Um, I thanked him online. I forget his name, but I, I thanked him on, on Instagram. Yeah, but this it wasn't actually a bottle. It okay. was a container. Because I was like ego, obviously. Of course. Me, as like, a water what, summer, yeah, I was like, so okay, which water? Huh? Which water has he in his Lamborghini yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. And I was looking the whole time and listening the whole time. He's saying, did I miss it now? What's going on here? I want this. I want to know which water you've been well, sending into. In my Lambo, it's going to be nothing but Svalbardini. <laughs> Svalbardini? Svalbardi. Svalbardi. I can't Svalbardi. say it. Svalbardi. Svalbardi. Yeah. That language yeah. is... Um, I don't know. I'm yeah, it's struggling. a tough language. All the Scandinavian language is almost like you have a hot potato in your mouth and you're trying to talk. Yeah. That's like what, what the Danish and Norwegian yeah, and yeah. Finnish language is. And you see it like. written and I'm like, whoa, it's so intimidating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, um, you just want to drink it. Dude, thank you so much for coming again. Sure. This was so cool. I Always love when you do to this. Be here. And let's do it again. Anytime you want to do another tasting. Oh, I've been bringing always like some fun waters and I yeah. think we should we should do this definitely again. And hopefully Christina, our main mummy, will be next time here yeah, as well. Absolutely. Um, let me bring everybody out on this. I got a little song to say goodbye. And um, that's it. Thank you, Martin, again for joining us. And we'll, we'll have this up again soon. Cheers, guys. 
Billy, Billy. It, 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 it's infected all of us. Machines yeah, yeah. within has changed all of our lives. Yeah. Two mommies, one jeans. Two mommies, one jeans. Two mommies, one jeans. That's how it goes. Again. Machines within. Machines within. Machines within. Machines within. T16. T16. Two mommies, one jeans. That's how it goes. Again. Machines within. Machines within. Machines within. Machines within. T16. T16. Two mommies, one jeans. Two mommies, one jeans. Here's a. Get Gyan. Terminator Gyan. Here's a. Get Gyan. Terminator Gyan. Here's a. Get Gyan. Terminator Gyan. Two mommies, one jeans. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Why you in bed? Giving me head. Why you in bed? Giving me head scratchy, 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 head scratchy, head scratchy, head scratchy, 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 head scratchy, head scratchy. Yeah! My jeans well in. 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 T16. T16. Two mommies, one jeans. That's how it goes. Again. My jeans well in. My jeans well in. My jeans well in. My jeans well in. T16. T16. Two mommies, one jeans. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Time to tap, time to draw. Time to tap, time to draw. Time to tap, time to draw. Time to tap. I do a lot of. Time to tap, time to draw. Time to tap, time to draw. Time to tap, time to draw. Time to tap. I do a lot of. Time to tap, time to draw. Time to tap. Ben and drill. Time to tap. Ben and drill. If I do <laughs> kill multiple people, that will be what I'm humming. <laughs> 10 x 12. Ten x twelve. I take like ten x twelve. Ten x twelve. I take like. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I actually had this song in my head over the weekend. A lot of people. No lie. A lot. Of it's people. not a bad song. I feel like it's not that bad. I mean, he, it can take some work. It needs work, but it's not bad. It's pretty amazing. 